the beginning of a journey. One many of these young boys hope will culminate at a top European club. The Africa Under-20 Championships, a platform on which the dream of a professional career gathers pace. It is men like Graham Haydon these boys are looking to impress. Graham is a football scout. I think in a lot of cases, especially when you're dealing with African players, it's like raw talent. So, uh, you know, there's nothing like 100%, but I think there's a lot of very good potential. Graham has been scouting players for seven years and he says Africa offers the biggest challenge. I think you have to understand like culture, mentality, you have to understand the reality of the players here. Uh, that they're not just fighting for themselves but they're fighting for like their families, for their villages and uh, things that makes things not so simple, you know, things are, are more complicated than just, oh, you just have to take care of the player. They're, they're thinking about a lot more than just themselves. But identifying the talent is sometimes the easy part. For scouts and agents, their fear often lies in the uncertainty of a player's ability to achieve their full potential. Is their motivation just financial and uh, they just want to have money, take care of the, their family? And then, okay, if their family is taken care of, then if, they're if that's their motivation, then you will see a drop in their form, a drop in their work ethic, a drop in their work rate. And then the second thing is uh, controlling or seeing uh, the, the people, the support group that a player has around them. I think for them, uh, being uh, away from their family, the, from what they know, from their comfort zone, maybe some, some of them are, are maybe more mature to adapt faster and some aren't. And uh, it's, it's like uh, everything in life. You, you adapt or you have to come back and try again. While adaptability to a club's style of play is often the key to success, for agent Cardozo, the attraction of African players lies in their raw talent, with European players often molded in academies at a young age. Young Africans offer an unrefined edge without the restrictions imposed by taught styles of play. This, he says, shouldn't be disregarded altogether. There should be a balance between what to do in, in technical ways and the way they should be free to, to play the, the street football that they play a lot here in, in Africa. The agents and scouts now move on in their constant quest to find the next Samuel Eto or Didier Drogba in the continent. And these boys can only hope that they have done enough to catch their attention. Celestine Caronet, CCTV, in Dakar, Senegal.